Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to shorten or lengthen the legs of a pants pattern. I already have a video showing you how to change the crotch depth or rise of the pants. And so now for this one, we'll work on the legs. This is a fairly simple pattern adjustment to make, but I have a few tips that are going to ensure better success. Let's get started. The only things you need to lengthen or shorten a pants pattern is your pattern pieces, a pen, a ruler, some tape, and if you're lengthening, you'll also need a bit of extra paper. This can be any kind of paper you have on hand. So let's move these out of the way for right now. And I chose these styles of patterns because I wanted to demonstrate why it's not a good idea just to lengthen or shorten from the bottom of the pant leg. So when you lengthen or shorten, you're going to be changing the circumference of the bottom of the pant. So if you lengthen a flared pant leg, you're just gonna get bigger and bigger flares, which might not be something you want. And with your tapered pant, if you just lengthen down from these lines, you're gonna get a narrower opening at the ankle. And sometimes that won't fit your ankle or you can't even get your foot through it. So that's why you don't wanna lengthen. And then likewise, if you shorten from the bottom, you might end up with really a not very tapered leg at all, or you would shorten from the bottom and you get a wider circumference at the bottom. And again, that might be a little cumbersome. You might end up tripping over the flares. So when you lengthen and shorten your pants, you're gonna to wanna to do so from the middle of the pant leg. And if you're going to be lengthening or shortening quite a bit, you might wanna do that in two places. So rather than just straight in the middle, you could lengthen a little bit here and a little bit here, and likewise shorten a little here and shorten a little there. So first let's start off by shortening the pants. Let's do our tapered leg first. So what you wanna do is grab your ruler and just draw in a length and shorten line somewhere in the thigh area. And you wanna make sure that this line is perpendicular 90 degrees to the grain line. You just draw a straight line across and then we'll do another line down around the calf. Again, perpendicular to our grain line. Then you just cut right along those lines. Now you wanna make a little guideline for the amount that you want to shorten this top of the pant. And then just draw another line up here. Then we're gonna overlap our pattern pieces and keep those grain lines matched up and you bring the cut line up to your guide line. Then you just tape it in place. And we're gonna do the same down here. So we'll just draw a little guide line to let us know how much we need to shorten Put our pattern piece on top and tape it down. So you can see we have some little jagged edges here and all you want to do is smooth those out and you can kind of just eyeball it. So you just want to smooth out that line and just make sure not to um, alter this corner up here. And likewise down here, you can just smooth it. You might need to add a little bit of extra paper right here, just depending on the shape of your pant and how much you shortened it. Then you can go ahead with your scissors and trim away any extra pattern piece. Now let's do the same thing with our flare pattern piece. One thing to watch out with this style is that usually you'd want the narrow part to be kind of around the knee. So you wanna take note of your body's measurement from the waistband to the knee. And then that'll tell you how much you wanna shorten your pattern piece up here. So just like with our tapered pant, we're gonna, oh, my poor grain line is not very straight. Let me draw a better one. I just freehanded it. <laughs> so that's straight. We will draw a perpendicular line up here with our thigh and then another one down here around the calf. Then grab your scissors and cut along those lines. Now you want to make a guideline for however much you want to shorten the pants 
and just draw that in here. And then we will overlap our pattern pieces and keep the grain line lined up. Then we'll do the same down here. Draw a little guideline in here and overlap our pattern pieces. Again, just making sure that we keep our grain line really nice and straight. So you can see here that we have some rough edges and you might wanna bring in a little bit of paper to fill in some sections, or you might be able to just draw in a smoother line and then cut away any excess and then make sure to do the same adjustments to your back pattern piece. Now let's lengthen our tapered style pant. Again, we're going to draw a line perpendicular to our grain line. And I'm gonna do it kind of here in the middle of the thigh and then do it again down here by the calf. If you have a very straight leg pant, you could probably ju be just fine lengthening one time in the middle, or if you're only adding an inch or two, just having one line would probably be fine. So we're just gonna cut that apart. So I'm gonna put a piece of paper under my pattern and tape my pattern to this extra piece of paper. So I can just use my grid because my scrap paper is see-through, but if you don't have see-through paper, what you wanna do is use your ruler to continue drawing the grain line. So we have that as a guide. And then I wanna come back and mark how far down from this edge I want to extend the pattern. So I'll just go down and draw, say one inch, and then right here is where I'm gonna put in my pattern piece. So I just get it lined up and put on some tape. And that's all nice and straight. Then we'll do the same thing with a second piece of paper. So you can just draw in. And then line up that second piece of paper then you just want to trim away this extra paper and smooth out these lines. So you can see if you just continued this line here and this line here, they don't really match up. So you can just come in and draw a new line and we'll just cut away this excess. All right, there we go. Then you wanna make the same changes to your back pattern piece. Now to lengthen our flared pattern piece, we're really gonna do the same thing. So like, like I was talking about with shortening, you usually wanna have this inner part of the flare near your knee. So you'll wanna take a measurement from your waistband down to your knee and make note of that when you're deciding how much length you wanna add right here. So just like before, we'll draw a line perpendicular to our grain line through the thigh and then through the calf. And then we're just gonna cut along those lines. Then we'll get a scrap of paper and tape down our pattern. And you can either use a grid like this if your paper is see-through or use your pen to draw in the lines. This time I'll use my grid and we'll just add a little bit of length here. So with my grid, I'm keeping the cut edge along these horizontal lines and then I'm lining up my grain line with the vertical line. We'll do it again with this section. So just tape this in place. And again, I'll just use my grid, put the cut line right along the horizontal, and then do the same here. So again, we just wanna bring our pattern piece straight down and then tape it in place. Then just like with our tapered pant, we're gonna to wanna to smooth out these lines because if you went straight from here and from here, they don't really line up. So you'll just smooth them together and do the same up here and the same on this side. And then you can cut away that excess or you can trace a new pattern. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that video. Make sure that whatever changes you do to the front pattern piece, that you do the same to the back pattern piece. I think I mentioned it once or twice, but just in case you skipped around, Make sure to do the same to the front that you do to the back. 
And if you're also looking for how to shorten or lengthen the rise or crotch depth of your pants, make sure to check out this video. And if diagrams would be really helpful for you, I have a blog post where I include diagrams on how to make all of these adjustments, and I'll put a link to that down in the show notes. This is the first in a series of videos that I have planned for the coming weeks talking about how to shorten or lengthen different parts of patterns. I design my patterns for a taller figure at five foot 10 and I'm tall myself. So those are really common adjustments that I have to make. And I know that they're really common for a lot of other sewists out there. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because I have more of these videos coming soon. And if you want to support the channel, you can visit the pattern shop or you can buy me a coffee. All the links are down in the show notes. Happy sewing.